Hi everyone, this is Andy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make another recipe for your Halloween party. I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate pudding. It's really easy to make, super delicious, and you can decorate it any way you want according to your party. So I really hope you give it a try. The preparation time is going to be about 2 minutes and then we have to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes on low heat. And then we have to refrigerate it for at least 3 hours before serving it. So I really recommend that you prepare it really early in the morning or the day before so you won't be in a hurry. As you can see, today I'm dressed like Pocahontas, I made this dress myself, so if you want to learn how to make it, I'm going to be uploading a video on my second channel, it's going to be a tutorial on how to make this dress, and my second channel is called Crafty Sandy, I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out if you want to. So for now that is it, I'm going to leave you with the Halloween recipe, it's a chocolate pudding, so I hope you enjoy it, let's get started. Remember you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. In a saucepan we're going to sift all the dry ingredients which are the sugar, the cornstarch, the cocoa powder, the cayenne pepper and a pinch of salt. Stir well and turn on the heat on medium low. Now we're going to whisk in the milk one cup at a time and we're going to stir in between cups of milk. After you add the last cup of milk, now we're going to continue to stir this for about one more minute, just so the sugar and the cornstarch will dissolve completely. And after a minute, turn down the heat to low, the lowest, and we'll continue to simmer this for about 15 more minutes. And you will be stirring this frequently, about every two or three minutes, and every time you stir this, make sure to scrape the bottom and the sides of the pan because uh, they might get a little lumpy and you will need to dissolve every lump. So we'll just continue to simmer this for about 15 more minutes and remember you have to stir this frequently about every 2 or 3 minutes and remember everything is cooking on very low heat. Now we're going to chop the unsweetened chocolate. Make sure you're using a very good quality unsweetened chocolate. It has to be 100% all natural cacao to give your pudding that very rich and creamy and luscious chocolate flavor. So we're going to cut the chocolate into small chunks, the smaller the better. And then when you're done, just set the chocolate aside until you're ready to use it. After 15 minutes, this is how the milk mixture looks like. As you can see, it has already thickened and it also has some lumps in there. So we will whisk this again for another minute or two just to dissolve all the lumps. And after that, now we're going to add in the vanilla extract. Stir really well for another minute and then we're going to add in the chopped chocolate. And stir once again for about 3 to 4 minutes or until the chocolate is completely dissolved. And you really have to stir this for about 3 to 4 minutes to make sure the chocolate is completely dissolved and to give the pudding a really thick and creamy consistency. So just keep on stirring this for about 4 minutes and remember everything is cooking on very low heat and don't forget to scrape the bottom and the sides of your pan as you stir. After 4 minutes the chocolate should be completely dissolved and the pudding is rich and creamy so the pudding is ready now, remove it from the stove and now we're going to pour it into our serving cups. I'm using these mini cups and this amount of pudding will be enough to fill 12 of them. They are about 2 or 3 ounces each, about a quarter of a cup. So they have the perfect size. So just pour the pudding into the serving cups. And after that, now we're going to decorate them. And since they are for Halloween, I'm going to decorate them as tombs. And for decoration, I'm using these cookies. They will be the tombstones. And to decorate those, I'm using melted chocolate. It's just one ounce of melted chocolate. I place the chocolate in a plastic bag and then I place it in the microwave for one minute and now it's completely melted. So I'm going to use the melted chocolate to write right on the center of the cookie and I'll write RIP, which is rest in peace. And also with the melted chocolate, I'm going to outline around the edges of the cookie to give it some dimension. And that's about it. If you're using larger cookies, feel free to decorate them any way you want. You can draw whatever you want on them. So just keep on decorating the cookies until you're done. And once you're done, now we're going to insert or place the cookie right on the pudding. And don't place it right on the center. You want to insert it almost to the end of the cup. And then after that, after the cookie is in place, now we'll sprinkle the chocolate pudding 
with the chocolate cookie crumbs or the chocolate bread crumbs. And just keep on repeating these steps until you're done. And once you're done, you can decorate your tombs with candy flowers if you want. And that's about it. Enjoy and happy Halloween! To print these and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog, the link is going to be down below. And remember, you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!